brag about this guy too much, man. Sometimes I think he you deserves know, it. He's good. He's good. <sighs> he's, he's not good. like he's an amazing man. He's, he's, he's good. He's a great dad. He's he's a great husband. He's still a G. I mean, he's in here he's packing up. His CD's getting ready for South by Southwest. That's the one and only, the Southeast Beast, Dope Beasy. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, back once again. We were just talking a little bit about your past. Um, and, you know, we are talking a little bit about real world and, and real world issues and things that are going on today. Um, but I want to talk about the future. And okay. And how this Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid 2 project is important to you personally and why it should be important um, in 2016 in the music industry and in Houston especially. Right. Um, pretty much the Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid, man, for those. I'm going to go into all the way detail with it. Um, Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid first started, man, um, when Wiz came out with Kush and OJ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when he dropped that, it took the world over. I'm sure everybody remember where they was the first time they heard that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And... um. All the I remember. Like, yeah. I remember. I kept hearing the buzz about it, so I was like, "Man, I'm finna go and get this shit to listen." I uh, couldn't afford to smoke dro at the time, you know. <laughs> every, you know, these days everybody's smoking Smoke dope. Everybody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But about five years ago, shit, twenty when it was twenty dollars and twenty five dollars a gram, niggas, niggas was smoking Reggie. They just wasn't, you know, really saying it like that. So <laughs> I remember listening to the Cushion OJ. And uh, I had rolled me up a, a, a Reggie blunt, you know what I'm saying, and went, and went to the car just to listen to it. And I was like, man, this whole goes so hard. And I was already, you know, freestyling around the city, um, doing little freestyles on, on on records. I wasn't just all the way taking my career super serious yet, but um, I was just making music. So when I heard that, I was like, you know what? Cushion OJ, you know, that's that's the lifestyle he living well. I feel like more people will relate to the way that I'm living right now by smoking Reggie and drinking Kool-Aid. You feel what I'm saying? So Which is captured on the artwork on, exactly, on, uh, on the project. On the first one, yep, yeah, for yep. sure. So um that's where it all started. That's what originated, man. It was it be, and then after a while it became, you know, a lifestyle. I felt like it represented the bottom, um, starting from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was a, a certain point in time where in the city um, they was hungry for a new face, you know what I'm saying? And um, I, I just felt like it, that's everything that it represents. So with Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid, too, um, people saying uh, it's a debate between, you know, Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid and Blue Magic, which one is my best and, you know, things uh. like that. So when you put the two on it, I feel like it sets the bar super, super high. You feel what I'm saying? It also brings interest into it, um, other than me just naming, like I was going to name my next project Napoleon, but... I felt like that's something brand new and fresh, and uh, with me naming it Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid 2, it's something that the people already connect with, something they're already familiar with, and it also sets a bar so high that people are going to be curious of what's on it, you feel what I'm saying? So um, that was the whole point of making it, me doing part two and everything. So. And I'm sure with the last, you know, it's been well documented, it's documented on the project on, on track number three, yes, you know, we actually use some of the real news clips from right. Isaiah Carey and right. some of the other news reports, but... You know, it's a project that I'm sure is a retrospective project, too, to think that you're still here to make Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid, too. Not just because of that incident, but just, you know, being right. in America today. Shit, being in Houston, <laughs> man, you know how it is out here, man. It's, it's, it's super tough to try to try to even get a buzz with, with so many people and so many rappers. And then not only once you get it, it's, it's so hard to, to keep it, especially, you know, someone in my position, um, it may not seem like it, but after I dropped Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid, uh, one first one, I took two years to make Blue Magic. After Ooh. I dropped Blue Magic, it took Excuse two, me. It took two years to make Footprints on the Moon. You feel Excuse me, Kid Rap, could you pull this shirt down right here? Because that is an Elite Collective Vintage Vault Vintage, special. Man. And we put the uh, Alex Rap bleach treatment that, on that it. Hell live. I wish I had. I don't even have well, one. Well, that those. that is yours now, sir. Oh, that's uh, what's it, up. That's it, not the only one, is it? It is one of one, and of course, it is going to go back to the originator. <laughs> uh, big shout out to our boy Kiri from Fly Things, who was a <laughs> young, up, up and dog. coming. Shout out, what? my dog. Yeah, so Special it's only K, fitting man. that it, you know it goes back. I, I like think it. What's crazy? Can I keep is, it here? I'm keeping it here, bro. No, it, no, it, uh, uh. It's yours. No, it's I, yours. okay. Well, if it's mine, I'm gonna keep it here. And, and that is go. an official Dobezy one of one from his <laughs> private collection up on the wall. I'll admit it, yeah, I know it's been a minute since you boys heard from the realest, but don't worry, it's a new day. Because of havoc since the day I dropped blue magic, but the party really started with that Reggie Bush and Kool-Aid.